Hi everyone, I'm Abakia here, I'm my students call me Mr. B. Uh, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually call your climbing ropes. Okay, well, I have here with me a huge bunch of ropes and there are definitely many ways to call your rope. Uh, rope management is very important if you want to uh, have a pleasant climbing experience. Okay, uh, not only that, as you move point to point with all your climbing gears, it's very important to have your climbing ropes well managed or you're going to have a, a horrible time with your ropes. In this method, I'm going to show you the backpack method. So what you do is that get the end, the two ends of the rope put together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the middle point of the rope. Okay, it will take me some time to get to the middle point. Okay, just keep going. I'm getting there. Alright, here we are. Okay, I've got a middle point of the rope, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna have I'm gonna wrap it around my two arms about two arms length okay uh, there are two ways of doing it all right if you have strong shoulders and if you can hold the weight or if your rope is not super long you can tie them in front of your shoulder but if you're worried that you may strain your shoulders you may want to put it put the rope around your neck okay uh, well it's your preference Personally for me, I would prefer to tie the rope in front of my shoulders just for the simple reason that I do not want the dirt of the rope to be on my neck. Okay, I will have a hard and not only that, I will have a hard time cleaning my shirt later on. So I'm gonna show you the front method. Like I mentioned again, it's perfectly fine whichever method you want to wrap the rope. Importantly is that you have the rope at the same length. Okay. Well, this is going to be a good uh, workout for your shoulders. So you're going to keep on going until we have an excess of about double of your two arms length. So that will be about 4 arms length. Okay, alright, we are towards the end. I have only this short span. So I'm going to retract my way. Let go. And a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to just half it into two. Make sure that it's as even as possible. Okay, now with this end, with the spare end here, I'm gonna just wrap the rope, wrap the, the wrap the coil of ropes at the top, so like this. Tighten it so that the whole coil of rope is snug. So as you coil, you go upwards towards the top of the whole bunch here. Okay, that way you will actually keep the whole coil together all right so i think the rope looks kind of like you know close together so i'll make a bite and put the bite through the loop here so i've got this bite here and now the end of the rope goes through the bite What do we have here is a coil of rope with two tails. So now I'm gonna put it around my behind my back. Okay, over your shoulders. You get a free rope here around your shoulders. Okay, and wrap it around the coil of ropes. Alright. 
and I would just tie a, a leaf knot to secure the rope to my body. So it goes like this. Okay, this free end. I can shorten it as much as I want. So the backpack method to coil your rope. Have fun.